それでも言いたいこの僕に何ができるって言うんだ窮屈な」Hello and welcome to Mecha Anime Reviews. I'll be the first person to admit that I'm not perfect. I've made many mistakes, not just in my own life, but also in my own show. The audio on my idiot review is incomprehensible. I don't credit the Japanese seiyus enough. My victory gun, the review, was a piece of shit. And to top it all off, I might have accidentally doomed our planet by unleashing an eldritch abomination that consumes entire worlds. But out of all of the mistakes I've made, My review of New Getter Robo is not one of them. Everything I said in the review I meant it, and I still maintain my opinion to this day. And nothing you say will change my mind whatsoever. But I feel like I should explain two things from that review. One, where did I get the idea that the show was for newcomers? Well, that's easy. I got that from TV Tropes. Says it right here. And two was a mistake I made in that review. You see, I said that New Getter Robo was based on the various incarnations of the Getter Robo franchise. That's not true. In actuality, it was based on the original manga, which originally ran in 1972, and its various sequels, which came out in the 90s and in the early 2000s. I apologize for that mistake. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's take a look at Getter Robo Armageddon. The series isn't based on any of the Getter Robo mangas. Being an entirely different story that takes place in its own continuity. It was originally directed by Yasuhiro Imagawa, but after three episodes, he was kicked out for whatever reason and was replaced with. Of course. Still, in spite of this change in directors, it still proved to be a big hit and is generally considered one of the best in the Getter franchise. Anyway, what's the story? Sometime after the Moon Wars, things have taken a dark turn. The main character and pilot of Getter 1, Ryoma Nagre, has been arrested for the murder of Dr. Saotome after his daughter, Mishiru, died in an accident. However, he is released from jail when Dr. Saotome has seemingly returned from the grave and allied himself with an alien race known as the Invaders to threaten humanity with his ultimate creation, Shin Getter Dragon. Ryoma must team up with his old allies to take down Dr. Saotome. As the mystery behind both Saotome's deaths unravels. Or, that would be the case if the Earth wasn't nuked to hell and back and wiped out 99% of the human population worldwide. 13 years after this catastrophe, as humanity clings desperately to life, the invaders threaten the Earth once more. The only safeguard against this alien threat is a giant robot that emerged from the wreckage of the nuclear blast Shin Getter Robo. Piloted by a woman named Kei, an artificial human named Go, and Kei's father, Benkei, who was also one of the original Getter pilots. With the help of Hayato's super robot army, Shin Getter fights to save humanity from the invaders. The animation is awesome, it flows magnificently, with tremendously badass action sequences. The music is fantastic, carrying some really memorable and cool tracks, blending with the action and the mood well. The English dub follows, well, pretty much the same rule as the other shows that had Imagawa as the director. It's very cheesy and over the top, but given the nature of the show, it actually works in a non charm sort of way. The series is like the anti New Getter Robo. In spite of being only 13 episodes, it tells its story well, the pacing never feeling too slow nor too fast. The characters are better developed, especially in regards to the original Getter team. Sure, they aren't the most complex or multifaceted, but they're genuinely likable and badass, leaving you rooting for them all the way. The action is amazing, 
Each fight, very well animated and detailed, never feeling clunky or awkward. The anime also has various twists and turns, each one developing the plot, leading up to a kick-ass conclusion by the end of all of it. However, there are problems. Like I said before, Imagawa only directed the first three episodes. When he left, he took pretty much all the scripts and ideas they were going to use, leaving Jun Kawagoe to sort this whole mess out. He handles it well, coming up with his own twists that actually work well in context with what the first three episodes established. But you get the sense the first few episodes he directs are a bit shaky, like he's trying to figure things out. It doesn't disrupt the pacing, but you can feel it. Then again, I thought the first three episodes went by too fast, leaving me unable to process what was going on. I mean, it was easy to follow, but a lot of information is conveyed and you have a hard time keeping up. The weakest aspect of the show is the villain, Dr. Sautame. The first three episodes, he's built up as a scheming, magnificent bastard who manipulates everyone into following his plan. After that, he's pretty pathetic, beaten easily almost every time the heroes encounter him. Mind you, he's still pretty menacing, but it just isn't the same. Still, these are minor flaws. Getaro Armageddon is awesome. It's fun, exciting, and filled with badass action sequences and kick-ass moments. I highly recommend it over New Get a Robo. And now I'm interested in looking up the rest of the manga since I only ever read the first two volumes. Per Musashi, you managed to survive the Moon Wars in this continuity only to die by nuclear explosion courtesy of Dr. Saltame. Oh well, see you next time on the next Mega Anime Reviews. Uh, what happened? You were thrown into the ground and nearly choked to death. Until we came for you. Why am I wearing a different shirt than before? One of our agents was a little overzealous in saving you. Your shirt was covered in so much blood we needed to replace it. Don't worry, we kept it strictly professional. Oh. Okay, hold on a second. I've been confused this whole time and now I want some friggin' answers. Who are you? Who are the ones attacking me? And what the hell is going on? Calm down. I'll answer all your questions. After all that's happened, you have a right to know. Okay then, who are you? My name is Hoji. I'm the one in charge of this operation. Operation? The Order of G. Our sole purpose is to end the G-Savior threat once and for all, should it ever be released from its prison. Which is all my fault. Correct. We were the ones who sent you the disk containing Tobita and the note in your room. We saved you from your attackers, who tried to make you think you murdered someone in order to kill you. The G-Savior will come soon enough. If it is not stopped here, it will continue to consume the entire universe and beyond. Beyond? Tell me. Do you believe in the concept of a multiverse?